Good evening and welcome to another Roulette Rivals World Cup 2021 match. This is a Group G match, I believe, between I Like Hitman and Script Desk. We will be off to Chongqing and after that, Dubai. Uh, I'll be joined for this cast by 420 uh, in a bit. The spin won't be here for another well, five and a half minutes, say. And for all you, uh, all you noobs out there, God bless you. God loves a trier. This is how Roulette Rivals works. You get a spin, say for example Hokkaido. You'd have to go in there and you would have to kill Eric Soders with the robot arms while dressed as a chef. Yuki Yamazaki would have to get got with a pistol whilst dressed as the hospital director. You go into the level, perform those kills with those uh, weapons or in, uh, with that sort of kill. Uh, in those disguises, get out with five stars and if you do it for your opponent, good chance you get two points. If after 30 seconds, uh, sorry, 30 seconds, bloody hell. If after 30 minutes, nobody's achieved this, then you get a point each. Uh, there's three maps. Like I say, the first one will be Chongqing, followed by Dubai. The third one will be picked at random from the remaining maps. And yes, yeah, so it's high as completely possible. You can get a three all, but we'll see how the boys go. Uh, but yep, yeah, spin will with us four minutes and 36 seconds. We'll see you then. Closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look. I did what you asked, but Gray's gone, and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. ICA? I used every encryption known to man. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kadanyang who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce the proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core, and I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know Hush. 
If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Good evening and welcome to Roulette Rivals World Cup 2021. And yes, I do call it a World Cup. I don't care. You can't tell me off. I'm joined for this match between I Like Hitman and Script uh, by Agent 420. Agent 420, say hello to the people, mate. What's happening, people? What's happening, Gordy? How's it going? I'm all right, mate. I'm not too bad. Good to good to have you on, as always. And as you can see, we are on our way to Chongqing. Spin is imminent, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a Group G match, I do believe. Uh, I should know this sort of thing. I am the caster, after all. But uh, we'll see what happens. Neither of the boys on the planning stage yet. They're just finishing out their spins. But the real spin is here. And we have got Hush explosion accident as a homeless person and Imogen Royce with a pistol as the perfect test subject. That's kind of a classic spin, isn't it? Mm. Disguises from the bottom of the target at the top and vice versa. That's uh, very straightforward, I'd like to think. You would like to think, but um, you know what this uh, this game can be like. Sorts of I mean, shit there's no happen. need to. Uh, there's obviously no need to take the homeless disguise into hush. You can set the explosion and accident remotely. You can um, pick up the disguise to calm down for for Imogen and use your silence pistol. Yeah. Uh, to get a nice, nice, easy, quiet, discreet kill. Yeah. Head off for your homeless person. Detonate. Exit. It's. Well, there we go, everybody. Uh, uh, Four twenty is out. Uh, chat was out about two <laughs> seconds before you, though, mate, and they had uh, worse loading times. So. Afraid I know, that, I know. Afraid wrecked. that you haven't. Yeah, get wrecked, 420. <laughs> okay, I like Hitman is in. He started down at the Riverside Walkway and he's gone for a replan straight away. Well, honestly, it looked like he was about to head over to the um, homeless guy, and I think he's just realised that that's kind of bananas trying to take that in there for an Does explosion he accident. He hasn't got a remote detonator. He's got coin, crowbar, pistol. Script having oh, some really? real issues with this um, a security console there. It took three shots to get it. And his audio is way off his stream. Which is kind of off-putting, but it is what it is. What, what's the boy to do? Yeah. Hey, oh look, Hitman going with the same start. Or hit the uh, block guard start uh, that Script has. Script has boxed himself the perfect test subject. Nice angle there from I like Hitman for the for the drone shot. Nice shot there. Hits it in one. Yeah, out the window uh, by and, and again another replay from I like Hitman. He's he's yeah. He's just realised he's got coins there and not a there micro goes the taser. taser. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Still, um, you could you could um, I personally would prefer That's concussive nice. ducky. Me too. Uh, that yeah, way that you don't need to prime the um, prime the propane flask, do you? Yeah, sure. I mean, it but depends then, where you're gonna can I say because if they're gonna get him in that room and knock everybody out in the deprivation chamber, yeah, it won't um, matter what. Make a difference, does it? You know what I mean? Absolutely, very true. You, very you true know indeed. me. I'm I'm old school. I use breacher. It's just whatever yeah. floats your boat. Yeah, I mean, I've spoke to you about this 420 many times, and um, one of these days, son, you're gonna learn. <laughs> I'm gonna be ripped. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Oh, I can feel that ice coming off your silence. Um, I was actually thinking about Blunt's question there. He's asked why Script has stashed the perfect test subject and not taken the disguise. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm not sure. He's uh, now come out to the homeless person to come and get a homeless person. Um, yeah, that is a like, one. I like, on the other hand, we've got the um, Hush ISO down. He has. Um, looks oh, like he, he's uh, restarting again. Do you know what he's done? He's um, tried to bullet lure that chick and got a bullet impact noticed. Yes. And I'm assuming just then he noticed he was going to rip if he continued. So he was just like, I might as well just start it again now. Like, I, I could see that guy in, in um, panic mode in the background. Like, something potentially could go wrong with that. I don't think he wanted to take chances. Yeah, I'm waiting a few, uh, like a few extra seconds there. could... Uh... Could be the difference, couldn't it? Between Asker, I may as well have restarted. I wish I'd restarted. Now it's a lovely pistol shot from distance sure. for that drone. And of course, uh, script 
Um, I'm going a, a, a bit of a slower, more methodical way about this, but two and a half minutes in game time lead is huge. Yeah, it He's is. He's now got the propane, has gone up dressed as the homeless man to approach Hush. Yeah, they've both thrown um, pro propane up there at a pretty similar time, which is uh, quite amusing. Different disguises. Interested to see how this plays out or what, what script's plan is here. Yeah. Because obviously, like um, like his Hitman. disguise is not allowed up here, sure. True. So, uh, I, like, I like Hitman knocking out Hush, the researcher, and the block guard, and Mogwai. So he's uh -huh. got a bit of a problem here and he's knocked them all out. Exit bomb. Yeah, nah. and just hope that it, within that three seconds, no one gets found. And Typically three seconds after an explosion, nobody's even started moving yet. I'm a little bit concerned about an NTK here. Uh, oh, I'm going to rip from script. Yeah, Mogwai has ripped in there. Hush was already on the move downstairs, which is um, why I like Hitman's kind of got a little bit of an advantage here, apart from the rip, in the fact he's gone to ISO Hush. Uh, from the start, rather than waiting, rather than getting sure. himself um, the homeless disguise. The uh, very much uh, uh, a very experiment. important part of China is trying to to get to that hush isolation early. Yeah, yeah, quite. Uh, it's very much another Francesca, isn't it? Yes. A little more <laughs> relaxed, a little a little more um, lenient, should we say? The Francesca one is. I mean, she will be back after three minutes, and you can go off and do other stuff, can't you? Oh. But. As long as you know what oh, script is not we'll having be... much luck with that um, shot on the security console at all, but gets it eventually. I like yeah, Hitman. That's what you'd imagine. Yeah. I like Hitman, perfect test subject, goes across the rooftop, takes the long bamboo uh, ladder down. Oh. He's gonna take the back way in. He's gonna look out for a lady with a pink umbrella. So I didn't notice if he picked up a tranquilizer gun. Yes, he does. He has a karma, so she can get one, and then that leaves one for. And he's missed her. Oh, oops. But he is likely going to save that second one for Imogen's guard, just to yeah. save any GRBs at the end of the game. Well, I mean, he he has just bullet distracted her instead and decided to go in behind Imogen dry. So he needs to make sure he gets far enough in front of that dumpling lady Welcome. so she's not going to spot Please him. follow the grey line to security check. Thank However, he did get an early shot on the drone. Imogen could quite... Or she is. Imogen is already there. He's way ahead. And so, yep. Yeah, okay. going to see a car. No, the, no the, he's the... gone for... Um, he's gone for um, the... Uh, probe around the back of um, oh, her boss's head. Oh, that's Ooh. not good news. Is she going to lure people? I haven't heard that through the wall. Fingers crossed. It should be, because it never opened that door, is it? Because it come no. around the back way. He is opening so it, but that's loud. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to blast it open with the no, loud. No, um, that's a rip. Ooh, that is no, a rip no, for no. I Like Hitman. They, they heard it through the wall. Oh, they wow. Kicked off. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is unfortunate. Uh, I Like Hitman was on his way there, just needed the homeless disguise and detonate, and he was off. But, yeah, that um, body shot of imaging cost him cost him dear okay screw so, setting up his remote uh kill for a hush there mm -hmm. hush done in the corner of course has i believe the perfect test subject already mm, where? Or not? No. I, th I thought he had him knocked out but i don't if he had him, I, I, him, so I, yeah i was gonna be. say she's she's talking to him <laughs> so uh almost got um, i mean perfect test subject must be still uh surely he's not gonna go out to detonate to the homeless to then come back in. I don't know. Is he getting himself some knockoutables? Does he not have any? Tranquilizer. It looks like he's headed towards he's going the homeless disguise for the for the hush kill. Yeah. Just uh. Okay, I like Hitman. Thirty-seven seconds in. Propane in hand as the block guard. It's gonna go knock some fools out. Ooh, no, no, no! Rip. Side KO on Hush. Of course, turns, now we're about two or three restarts in. The, the pressure's setting in now. Yeah. The, uh, the rushed moves are starting to come in, and this game really does not like people playing it fast. No, we all know that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, script looking to 
It's going to detonate now, I should have thought. Or not. Yeah, detonate. No, no, no. kill yet. He's not going. Wait. Well, why is he going what? back up there then? Is this going to be some panic You've up there, the isn't it? Hush. There he goes. No, hush is dead. Hush oh, is dead. Um, and now he's running up there into the... I, I do not understand this play into the at horn, all. Into the hornet's nest with a yeah, trespassing sure. disguise when he had... That he no longer needs. Yeah, when he had a non-trespassing disguise he could have changed instantly hey, back into. And so, there is and that's uh, a an enforcer. That is rip. Yeah, script Unfortunate, is... Unfortunate, um, but... Um, Somewhat predictable. Yeah, you can see that sort of happening. By not taking the perfect test subject and then going down the stairs. I mean, he could have walked. He wasn't trespassing. That woman is not an enforcer to a block guard. So he could have gone in there, knocked out the test subject, and um, boxed him up. Would have been okay, but either way. Oh, script coming right back out. I don't know if he believes the game is doing him dirty, so he's uh, just giving it a kind of a, a reset, if you will. I like Hitman, though. Getting set up and getting himself the perfect test subject. He's got, got Hush isolated, got a propane next to him with the, with the detonator. I like Hitman is away in the perfect test subject disguise so he's all happy and of course he's already been through all this once only lost his run to a it's a really unfortunate happening so he did yeah he's looking very strong here for a, i like hitman at this rate he's gonna be done before script loads in again script's got some horrific loading time there isn't he or as you would call it 420 normal <laughs> yeah <laughs> You get used to it after a while. There's no end to the horrors mankind will endure. <laughs> and I like it, man. Going across the rooftop, down that big bamboo ladder. Hopefully this time we can get the karma shot on the dumpling lady just to make things a little bit... Well, karma. <laughs> oh no, he's decided to go with the... Um, Bullet distraction again, it, because it worked last time. It doesn't waste the dart. Makes perfect sense. And script boxing the perfect test subject this time really, really quickly. No, it's, it's very odd that he doesn't just take the disguise there and then. Of course, yeah, you could get the hush set up whilst dressed as the uh, test subject. Sure, I mean, I, I, I really don't understand why he goes there first. <laughs> oh, right. Only to not take it. Yeah. I was just thinking, oh, that's target lockdown, but of course that's the new one, isn't it? The FaceTime lockdown. That's, uh, yeah, Imogen will be in lockdown now. Yes. So, of course, he'd have to wait for that before the drone law would even take effect, I think. I'm not sure how those interact, actually. It's a neat start. It makes absolute sense, though. Decent bit of logic for once for Hitman, isn't it? He's um, very strong for my... I like Hitman here, though. He's uh, looking just good. Just approaching his uh, last disguise. Just going to look for a nice, safe, homeless guy by the looks of it. Yeah, he's lied down um, all by his lonesome somewhere around here. There he is. Bosh. And boxing him as well, just to make extra, extra, extra certain, which uh, you can't Taking blame him. Taking his karma home, trying to get the uh, the reimbursement for it. Don't yeah. see why not. Pays the bills. That, damn straight. 47 is a bit strapped for cash, you know. Okay, here we go. Coming up to the scooter. Pop and go. Good. There goes Hush. Let's green go guns, green down. guns, green guns. I just need to scooter, 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 scooter. And he is out. I like Hitman. Should be taking Chunking there. 16 minutes and 37, 30 seconds that were left in the spin. GG. GG indeedy. Let's, uh, 420, wait. look at that. Show some love for that. <laughs> Can we get an extra point for that, admins? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, GG's... Uh, I like Hitman there. Well done, lad. The uh, script hasn't been told yet. What is going on?
Okay, next map is Dubai. Uh, let's go and have a look at the mission briefing and find out why we're there. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome back, boys and girls, binary and non. Good to see you all. Uh, first map was Chong King, which I like Hitman. Uh, completed with a, um, well, we've got 16 minutes left on the clock. And in game time of what was it, Agent 420? I think it was 420, I believe. No, no, it was I like Hitman. What, did, what time did he get? Well, um, I think it was 420. No, it was I like Hitman. We're gonna have we're gonna have an argument here. It was I like Hitman. What time did he get? Four nineteen, for fuck's sake. Oh, that'll do it then. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> He's like a slimmer version of you then. Four nineteen, fair days. Right, we are off to Dubai. Um, not everybody's favourite map. Some people like it because it's uh, one of the shorter ones, shall we say? Um, your views on Dubai four twenty? I'll be very surprised if this one lasts for four minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. <laughs> of course, there are occasions where that can happen. Sure, uh, I mean, uh, consume, consume poison, poison definitely yeah. throws a spanner in the works. Um, falling object, potentially, throws mm. a curveball. Yeah, falling object, though, especially for um, Marcus Stuyvesant, that has caused problems in the past with some of our lads. We have seen that. But usually, you can see the boys practicing it now, can't you? The, um, the, would you call it standard? I think mm -hmm. it's, I think it's too kind to call it meta. I think you'd just call it standard, wouldn't you? It's just the obvious isolation, isn't it? It's the isolation. The guy moves into one corridor and he's, <laughs> he's yours. <laughs> exactly, yeah. You're good to go. I feel bad for players that are sort of experiencing Dubai and not catching that one. Yeah, but then, you know, you've only got to play a few times or, well, once and watch the VODs back and go, oh, <laughs> that's how that's done. Fair enough. 
Well, the spin is near as damn it is to swear in here. 420, would you like to take this one instead? I think it's your sure. turn, isn't it? I can get this one. Okay, well, the spin is here. 420, take it away. We have Carl Ingram, silenced pistol as art crew. Marcus Stuyvesant with a cleaver as a famous chef. Hmm. Are we going to see this normal isolation then? I, I don't know if it's actually worth doing. I'm joking. Of course, that's what we're going to see. <laughs> What's interesting is typically players do like to use a, a karma, so this is going to be a, a full-on bullet distract fest here to get the first kill. No karmas. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, of course you got to... Um, well, no. You can take a karma and uh, you can pick up silence pistols off those white guards, can't you? Yeah, but I'm thinking routing-wise, you're not typically going past one on the way up to Carl to make it back for Marcus, and you want to kill Carl while you're up there. You don't want to ISO him and then go back and kill him. I suppose there's that, yeah. Oh, mind you, you have got to go up for Famous Chef anyway, so... So you may as yeah, well. Yeah, you might as well, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it don't make no odds. But yeah, still, I did notice, um, I like Hitman at least, packing the um, packing the pistol instead of the Karma alert, and he's just going straight in. A bunch of crowbar throws. Good lad. Everybody's down. Nicely done. Good lad. I'd love to see it. He's got a rip. Okay, but... so. Not sure what his thinking is there. Well, maybe he just wanted him to see his face. There True. we go. <laughs> Kills him. Should still be good for uh, Carl. Uh, Marcus, sorry. Did take a, a little bit of time. He's just approached one minute in game, so. Yeah, he's taking out that camera Pressure's in on the there, but no, okay. timing is lovely. What is it though? No, he's gonna have to bump. He's gonna have to bump Marcus. No, he's um. Yeah, I like Hitman to have to bump Marcus, Best and Marcus is in the wind. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, he's not gonna be able to bring him back. But I, think she is kind of slow. I wouldn't bet on that. Oh, hello. Saying that. Okay, so the uh, fuse box distract. <laughs> no, it is. He's hit a restart anyway. Yeah. Yeah, he decided to uh, give up on that dream. There was a big, big gap though between um, Stuyvesant and his uh, his guard, wasn't there? I think I think the game screwed him a bit there. Actually, I'm very surprised that he didn't just headshot Carl and and go. Mm. He, he put a lot of time into showing his face and knocking him out. Um, which I don't expect to see again this time. Well, then, to be fair, look at what happened with Imogen in his first run. He got that body shot, didn't he? Which buggered things up for him. That is, I, don't oh, think, I don't think that would have mattered Once for Carl. Once bitten, twice um, shy. Yeah, I don't think that would have mattered for um, Carl, but, you know, that, that, would, that could well have been fresh in his head. So that's fair. I would say that's so, fair. On the flip side, uh, Script has done it the way you suggested. Oh, no. um, got away with it nicely. He has Carl uh, Ingram dead, the silenced pistol as art crew. He is now heading upstairs to go and retrieve both the oh, well, famous chef and the cleaver he already has from his little trip down to the kitchen. All oh, right. Of course, is I didn't it, clock that. I don't know if there's a cleaver upstairs. I'm not sure. But if not, it does mean you've got to go both ends. That's true. Just yeah, we'd have, to we'd have to check. Um, we'd have to check on hit maps or something to find out if the cleaver lives upstairs, or you could just go in the game and find out yourself. Depends yeah. how adventurous you are. I don't think Scripps is actually going to go out there. Actually, he's going to send a little him in. So. Yeah, I like Hitman had a had a nasty rip there. He um, he threw the crowbar over the second guard's shoulder. Oh. Before, be yeah, before throwing the second it. second crowbar at his head with that. The last standing guard had turned round at Nylot Hitman before he went red guns went, ah, you know what, sod this. Uh, Restart. That's just that's, pissed uh, me off. It's one of them things, it happens. We've Again, all missed a lock on every now the, and then. I like Hitman with the knockout before, uh, before shooting. A little shooting. bit faster this time though, I mean he's 50, just over 50 climbing over, so I think he's got arguably 7-8 seconds ahead of the last time. Which is huge in terms of yep. what we're going and for. And there is the kill for script, and script is out. Where very well done. Wow, four wonderful. And half, just over four and a half minutes into the spin, in, the spin itself. Three minutes and thirty-six seconds in game time. So I, I, oh, I don't believe there was any rips there. Wow, very nice. Congratulations, uh, script desk. That was uh, very impressive.
Okay, there. and we are off to Dartmoor. Right, oh, hold, wow. Hold on to your hat. Let me pay out the prediction. Start a new one. What's the record for shortest map? Uh, shortest match, sorry. I think it's 33 minutes. It's pretty darn quick, whatever it is. Right. It takes like round three. Right now. Oh, I did forget to do a prediction for round two, so I can only apologize for that. Okay, well, Dartmoor. Let's go and have a look at the mission briefing and see why we're there. Why we're there. There's the button. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Welcome back to Roulette Rivals World Cup 2021, a group G match between I Like Hitman and Script. I Like Hitman taking his own map of Chongqing and Script taking his map of Dubai. We now head towards Dartmoor uh, for the decider. Um, and what 420 tells me during the break there, we could be on for one of the quickest uh, RR matches going. Um, I've got a horrible feeling that there was one that was like 20 minutes or something less even. But um, we'll soon find out, I'm sure. So go on then, 420. We always like to ask this. What do you want to see from Dartmoor? All an object suit. All an object suit? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't mean private detective? <laughs> nah, let's 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 do the downstairs route. Right? Okay. Yeah. Now falling object suit, how how quick would you expect to see that done? Honestly, you could do up or down in ninety seconds, taking your time. Mm -hmm. That would be, be a somewhat trivial, I like to think. Well, script showing off uh, a secret shot on um, Alexa there. That seems to be a, a popular choice for Roulette. Isolating her in this middle bathroom. Middle floor, I mean. Good spot for a drown. Nice quick spot as well. And you've got a few different disguises you can grab there. <laughs> And red guns, uh, green guns were late coming back. You see that? A bit of server lag there for uh, script by the looks of things. But um, so play a game. Fingers crossed that won't affect him during the match. All right then, Dartmoor. Let's see how we're going to get rid of Alexa Carlisle. And uh, we are looking at some garden shears as a mansion guard. This could be quick. This, this be... should be quick. There mm -hmm. are shears right outside of her office upstairs. You can start as the mansion guard. You can get up there quite quickly. And, um, of course, you've got the option uh, case file or tokens, really, haven't you? And Froaty Froaty pointing out quite rightly every possible Dartmoor spin, this could be quick. <laughs> this is one of the ones, though, where you've actually got a weapon on the map and it's just right next to her anyway. Exactly, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you might as well have silenced pistol right there. Okay, script starting as the private eye, though. I'm not sure I get this because he's missed the secret shot anyway. 
He got it on the second attempt, but that bathroom that he's going to be attempting to get to, he will be trespassing as the mansion guard. Uh, I like Hitman, on the other hand, starting as the mansion guard, which makes a lot more sense. Huh? He's going to do some uh, parkour. Get his ass upstairs by the looks of things. Script having a good old wait just to knock out Alexa. I didn't see. Did um, I like pick up a second karma? Uh, I th I'm not sure he managed to pick up the um, uh, pick up anything from the stash point because it's um, it's an agency pickup as well, isn't it? In oh, that he's got room. A snail. That do. In that case, uh, he doesn't need anything else. A script, possibly looking here to uh, knock out the guard. Knock out, um, oh, oh, bit of, bit of whoosh there. Knock out, Come he's on, knocked out Alexa. Does he he's have, not, he's had something Oh hurt. dear, that was a close combat. Um, yeah. He doesn't have a karma, he can't contain this. No. Um, unfortunately, a guard is going to come and check this area, and I don't know what he can do with Alexa at this point. To... Okay, in, in the meantime, I like Hitman clearing out the opposite upstairs. Oh, he, he does have a karma. It's in his briefcase. He's just karmaed the guard that was coming. Obviously, that doesn't contain things for long. Yeah, okay. Because the guy that sent him saw it. Okay, Alexa Carlo was knocked out for I like Hitman. He's just picking, he's looking for the garden shears. No, he's there, there somewhere, somewhere there. Just there. Just there. Behind mate. you, buddy. That's the there one. you go. Good lad. Okay, Alexa is dead. This is definitely a case final move then. Changed him to the bodyguard disguise. Um, There's a enforcer on the hearse exit. On the hearse, of the course security. Yeah. Very good, good, good uh, foresight there. there from. I like. Yeah, absolutely. Very good foresight from my late hitman. They're minimising the risk, which is which is kind of key. Two minutes and eleven seconds in. Say he should be out below the two twenty mark. I would reckon. Oh, I've lied. I've lied. I've lied to you all again and again and again. Mm -hmm. I hope you can all forgive me. Good, Two minutes and 25 seconds. I was way GG off. Jeez, so I like Hitman. Just 31 minutes past the hour taking a 4-2 victory over Scripto. Very well done. Very well done indeed. Uh, just wait for the admin confirmation. Of course, and there it is. I like Hitman takes this match 4-2. Very well done. Very well done indeed. GG's to I like Hitman. GG's to script as well. Didn't come away pointless, which is always a, which is always a, a bit of a bonus, you know. No one likes to get swept. Speaking as a man who has been on a few occasions now. <laughs> Haven't we all? I hope we all have. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a quick look at the brackets and see what's uh, what's going on there. Okay, this was uh, like I say, a group G match. We see Fusk sitting pretty at the top there. With uh, 19 points, Brain Fixer was 16 points. Script now moves on to 14 points. Only won the one match, lost five, but taking points consistently is a big difference maker, isn't it? You can you can tell by that. Jotes with 13 points, only played the three, still got four to go. I like Hitman, still got four to go with 11 points now. Rommel with 10, perfect record of um, uh, two wins out of his two games. Obviously dropping two points somewhere along the line. Barbie was seven. Played one, lost one, tied one. Max Masters uh, is already eliminated, having played six matches and not taken any points yet. He still has one game left to go, so uh, hopefully he can salvage something there, just for a bit of pride. Uh, okay, we do have uh, a few matches on this evening as well. Let's have a quick look. See what we got coming up. Right, we've got Matty Spice versus Oh Shit Man. Uh, Barbecue will be hosting that one uh, in about half an hour's time. Crudy versus Trebiat uh, at 9 o'clock. Barbecue again with that one. 23.30, we got Pajero versus Coates. Uh, Coates' is second match in the tourney, so here we go. He's going he's gonna to be starting the comeback trail right now. He's been away doing Rocky montages, doing all that good stuff. <laughs> Punching cows with his bare fists, even if they're not dead and hanging, hanging up in a freezer. 
Um, those poor cows, that's all I can say. Uh, Rommel is taking that one with Currymaker. Uh, T. Hawking. T. Hawking versus uh, T. Nort. Battle of the T Boys. Uh, Jotes <laughs> will be taking that one at half past, uh, half past 11, Central European time. And 0200 Speedster versus David Red Sox, hosted by Chris X3 and GK Punk. Uh, if you're not sure what times those actually are, if you go to hitmaps.com, it will have the listings for you in your local time. So you don't have to go on the world time buddy or anything like that and do any mad calculations like, you know, plus three or minus three. It's not hard, people. It's really not difficult. <laughs> Been around for a while now, ever since you were born. But um, <laughs> four twenty. Any takeaways from the match? No, not really. No, it's just too a quick. <laughs> it's I can't too remember quick. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, very well played by both competitors there, and it was competitive as well. They were they were both. Um, either one of them could have taken any one of those maps. They were right in it with each other. So that was very well balanced. I thought I quite enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, very good watch. I enjoyed it. Yeah. All right, then. Well, let's go and give someone a raid, shall we? Because, uh, let me see, we've got another um, half an hour before uh, Barb um, will be uh, hosting the match. Well, another quarter of an hour before he goes live. Uh, anybody we should go and say hello to? Who should we send our love? Is there anybody up? Let's do a scoochie. What's Twitch showing me here? Oh, it's showing me some bird in a hot tub. Oh, we've got to go say hello to her, haven't we? Get in. <laughs> Bailing that. There's always the lovely, the one, the only, the Mendy, the tin hat. Let's go say hello to Mendy, shall we? Yeah, 420. As always, a pleasure, my friend. Thanks for having me. And again, GG's script and I like Hitman. And uh, yeah, thank you, chat, for coming in. And we will see you all very soon.